What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from IGM3, where we discuss software engineering by example. Welcome to another JavaScript by example uh, series where we basically have a simple application that we're building from scratch and we're learning JavaScript in the process. In the last episode, episode number eight, we learned about uh, CSS, implementing CSS and HTML. Not really JavaScript, but it's kind of related. Uh, we learned about loops and we learned about arrays. And in this episode, I want to take this to the next level and introduce a new function that is in JavaScript, especially running the browsers. And that will help us reduce the amount of code and refactor our code and make it much, 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 much simpler. Okay, so let's go through the code a little bit again. Okay. So what we have here is a bunch of elements, right? So we have elements and we're gonna use, we are using get element by ID to get basically these elements and then store them into variables using let, right? Let this, let this, and then we have all these variables. So what we did the last episode, we group all of these, special one of them, into an array, okay? And then what we did is, instead of the old way, we're just doing add event listener calling the same function, we just looped through the array and then call the same function. Because for the next element, just go ahead and add uh, the event listener, which is a click, in order to print the symbol on the calculator. What I want to do now is even simplify that even more. So this symbols array, I want, I want JavaScript to give me that without me having to write all that code, right? So how can I do that, okay? So let's think about it a little bit, right? So what we did is this number zero, number one, all these digits have something in common. We did that, remember? Let's go to the HTML. What do they have in common? What do you guys see? What do you see they have in common? You figured it out, right? All of them are belonging to the class that is called symbol, right? So if and only if, if I have a function that says, hey, JavaScript, can you give me all elements that has a class symbol and then put them in an array? Imagine, if I have that, then I'm gonna give this, right? And and just like that, I just I have no use of this anymore. Okay? So that's a trick here. So what I wanna do here is at least these, right? Number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the, the operations in the right P parentheses and the left parentheses. Okay. The clear button and the equal button are not part of the symbol. So I'm gonna leave them here, okay? But pretty much everything else, right? Even the results, if you think about it, the result is not even part of the symbol because results have a special function, okay? What we do with the result, a clear and equal, uh, is, is not the same, right? Result is essentially the, uh, we do the, f this, uh, we, we essentially calculate the result when we click equal. So we still need this variable somehow, so I'm gonna keep it. But, I'm gonna comment out all this code. And then don't go, don't worry guys, I'm, I'm gonna essentially provide the code for you at the end of the episode, so you can take a look. Like, like we always do. But uh, what I want to do is also comment out this array. Well, you know what? Let's comment out this. I don't want to, I want, I don't want this anymore. But this symbol, I want all elements that have the class symbol in them, right? which is this guy, symbol. So let's see, how can we do that? It is in a document, 
So in the document, there's a function called get. And instead of one element, there's elements by class name. Right? And then the class name is called symbol. And then just like that, this will return me an array of all the elements that have the class that is equal symbol. That's extra. We should, we should remove it. And then take that element, loop through them, and then let's add the event handler, which is the click on every single element that is a digit or an operation. So let's see if this works. Remember how to execute that stuff, guys? You go to your terminal, uh, and either in Visual Studio Code, if you go, if you click here, terminal, or you go to the terminal here, you go to the same location, essentially, right? And then you do http-server, assuming you installed uh, Node, uh, Node.js HTTP server, and then you say dot. That will host you in import 8080, and the, obviously the, the browser, uh, the, the thing is called calculate.html. So let's go ahead and execute that. Uh, HTTP localhost 8080 calc.html. Okay. Let's see if we got the latest code. Visual Studio. That uh, looks like the latest code, right? That's the function that we just added. So it looks good. And Let's refresh and nine times nine. Looks like things are working, guys. All right, it's working. So let's try to clear. It's also also working, right? So nine plus times nine equal. Looks like it's good. So let's go ahead and show you what exactly is going on here. So I'm gonna put a debug. I don't know if I showed you debugging here, guys. But the way you do it is, you go. I prefer using Chrome for this thing. What you go is you click on this three dots in Chrome, and then you go to More Tools, and then you go to Developer Tools, and then when you do Developer Tools, you click on Sources, and then you click on the HTML file, and then just like that, you'll click here, and that will set what we call a breakpoint. Now, if you refresh. The code will get executed, started from the script, do, 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 up to until the uh, the code that you break in, and then it will stop until you do something about it. So, and the cool thing about it is, as you start just pan, uh, hovering over these objects, you can see the values of these objects, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and just click this, right? step over the next function so just one step go one step okay and instead of executing the whole script okay one step versus the whole script or you can do it from here it's up to you okay so i just want to step over poof execute that code and then the reason i did that is because if i hover over the symbols now look at that what is this guys zero one two that's an array that's the same array that we have built, right? It's, except it is it is much, much, much simpler, okay? And then it is pretty neat that we have that, okay? And then let's go through the loop. Let i equal zero, so the value of i, hopefully, is zero, right? So this is like another way to show you actually how loops works, which is, Pretinate, if you ask me. So, i i is zero. So let's step over. Is asking the question: Is i less than symbols dot length, which is eighteen? That's pretty neat, right? So we have eighteen elements. Okay. Is i uh, is zero less than eighteen? Sure. Yeah. So what it does is like step, and then go and execute the code. Take the symbol i with a zero, which happens to be what is the first one? Class name. We can get the ID here so we can know. The ID is called clear. So the first one is called a clear. And add the click element, which is called print symbol. 
if you think about it, the clear button, we shouldn't really print that into the screen. Okay, so we need to really remove it as a symbol. It's not really a symbol. So what what happens here is I don't want to confuse you, but actually we add we it looks like we have added two event listeners for the clear buttons. Okay, but but let's talk about that some other time. Uh, go to the next one. So you see what what code is executing? This code is executing now. It says I plus plus, which is add one to I. Okay, but I is still zero. But the moment you execute, you go to I, it should say one. Any second now. Look at that. I is now one. Okay. And then we go to this condition. Is one less than 18? Yup, sir, it is less than 18. So we jump and then says, hey, give me the first element, which happens to be, that's how you you highlight this and it will tell you how cool is Chrome guys that actually does all that stuff for you uh, okay it's called left P left parentheses and so on you you know the drill right you guys so I am going to jump ahead and click a breakpoint here so if I keep doing that it will just keep looping and stepping in the same function and over and over again. So if I click this, it will jump, execute all the code until the next breaking point, which is this guy, 151. So boom, there you go. Now the clear button, which had an event listener, I don't know if we see the event listeners here, which is the click command. I don't think we can on click. Is that an on click? No. I don't think we can see the event listeners, but regardless, right? There is an event listener, we added that. But now we're adding another function. Remember guys, we did that work before, okay? So we're adding this function, that's one function, right? That's another way of doing it, okay? And then uh, this will give me the function and then we'll clear that. So what I think what happened here is, uh, the print got executed and then followed up by the clear, which is just set it to zero. So we didn't feel it, all right? But the correct way is to remove the symbol from the clear button. But go ahead and then obviously the equal, do that. And then uh, equal will basically execute this function, okay? So some of you ask like, hey, hey, why do you have an E here but you don't have it here? It E is actually the, uh, the event, right? Which which tells you like some useful information, like where did you click when when this event occurred, which is a click. What happened? Where did you click at? What did you click at? And then some other information, right? And you can pretty much replace it with with uh, I can't I can't edit here, but you can replace it with the, with with what we have here, which is essentially I I have I don't care about the arg arguments because I'm not going to use it, and and I just want to show you different things here. So if you if you if you replace it with this, that will work as well because no, you're not using the arguments essentially, so you're good. But let's go ahead and execute all the code, and then close that, and it looks like guys we our code is working okay i'm gonna intentionally keep this episode real light very simple i'll push the latest code uh, episode nine guys uh, let me know if you have any questions if you're interested in this series i'm gonna continue doing it right what exactly did you like more in this series do you like the debugging do you like me to talk about more advanced stuff i'll keep i'll keep stepping in the code and but 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 as you say, can see now the code is much 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 cleaner now Okay, and uh, I think I can uh, confidently start deleting. So let's do that before we push, right? Uh, I'm gonna delete all this code. Bye. I'm gonna delete all this code. You can keep it if you want, guys, right? If you wanna learn. But I don't need it anymore. Okay, you can delete all that code. And maybe in the next episode we'll learn about uh, constants, right? So my code is now much cleaner. Look at that, guys. Our script is what? How many lines? It is 30 lines. That's not bad. 
less than 30 lines of code. And if you remove the new lines, you're actually doing much better. Okay, all right, guys. Uh, by the way, guys, you can, you can, I'll show you some tricks here. What is this? Is this complaining? Oh, that's the old thing that we removed. Okay, if you do that, you can just do it in one line if you want to. I just wanted to do it in two lines showing you that the different things that you can do in JavaScript. Okay, guys, uh, it's pretty neat, right? Okay. Um, I think I'll stop here. I'll push the code. Uh, you can find it in the description. Again, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, really, your questions, I take them and, and make another episode out of, of them because the more questions you ask, the more content you're going to get. All right? So with that said, you guys stay awesome. Check out the other content in this channel if you really enjoy this channel. Hit that like button, right? Hit that subscribe button, right? So I know uh, that helps a lot. You know, you have no idea, guys, how that how much this help uh, tells the uh, YouTube algorithm that hey, this video is useful and still bubbling up to the top of the queue at the top of the search results. All right, guys, uh, you guys stay awesome, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Goodbye.